Welcome, Dragon Disciples and Wyvern Warriors, to another episode of Draconis Gold Gaming. I'm your host, Draconis Gold, the Golden Dragon, and we are continuing in Osiris New Dawn. At the end of the last episode, we figured out how to do solar panels, which, um, that's all well and good, but we also need to figure out how to get carbon, because that is one of the things that we need to create the solar panels. Now, back over in that direction is where we found the titanium. So, what we may do is just head back over in that direction, see if we can find some carbon over there at the same time. I have not found any carbon here in the, um, in this area with these base metals and whatever. So, we're going to go see if we can find some over in the distance. I'm also going to switch to... There we go. You know what? I am going to change this up because I like that a lot. So I'm actually going to move this over to the second slot. And we'll let the pistol be in the sixth slot. So we're going to go to the assault rifle and reload just so we've got it if we need it. And we're going to switch to our handy dandy knife because this thing is awesome. It kicked butt against that um, skeleopod the other day. I jumped down on top of it and with just one whack I had killed the skeleopod so that was a that was a good thing all right so let's see I think it was over in this direction I'm almost certain of it so we're gonna head over in this direction and see if we can find what we're looking for we don't need water or food right now. This is one of the nice things about this game is that it seems like water and food, while you do have to have them, they don't make it something that, you know, you're having to find food every five minutes, which is very annoying. And I, some of the games I play, it seems like, you know, you're, you're having to get food so often, and it, it kind of detracts from the gameplay a little bit in that you want to get on with playing the game and you really can't because well because you are having to search for food and water all the time no crab monster here no nothing no Let's uh, see what's in this one. More iron. Aluminum. Pick that up. Three. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick this up, pick this up, and we'll get this one as well. Alright, so this is just base metals. This is not carbon. We need to keep looking to see what we can find for carbon. So I may do with this one kind of what I did with the titanium. I may go searching for it and then just come back when, uh, when I have found it and let you guys know. Because who knows how far afield I'm gonna have to go to find carbon. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I, as soon as I can find it, um, I will let you guys know, and I will be back. So, see you guys in a little bit. Hopefully. Well, this is interesting, guys. We have found uh, some sort of a building over here, some sort of structure. Um, had a little run-in with one of those, um, I don't know, spider-looking creatures and then a skeleopod, but it wasn't anything big, so I didn't put it in the video. But we are going to go over and check out this structure. I'm kind of waiting for it to get a little bit more light. I uh, don't really want to go in this thing or go around this thing until 
I've got some daylight to work with. This this um, flashlight isn't working too good for illuminating the area. So I'll be back with you guys once it's daylight and we'll go in and check this thing out. Looks like it shouldn't be very long. Looks like it is bright enough for us to go check it out now. So let's go ahead and ease our way down here and we'll go through this place. Maybe we'll find some things that we could use. Maybe. We'll see. Bottom line is it looks interesting, so there's a large crate. Alright. Check these out. Nothing in that one. Nothing in that one. Nothing. Alright, well this looks like this could become a bust here if we're not careful. I'm not finding anything. Are these just supposed to be for me to store stuff? Because if so, we might have to move our base back over here. Nope, there's nothing in these. They're all empty. Which is kind of a bummer. I was excited. I thought we were going to get something. Plated crate. Nope. Do we have to, like, break them open or something? Well, let's break one of them, see what happens. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. We'll hit it a few more times, see what happens. Nope. Just an empty crate. Nothing there, I guess. Huh. Alright. Um, let's go check out some of these other buildings. Maybe they'll have something in them that does have something in it. Small cooler. That could be food. Alright, this is getting ridiculous. There's nothing in these things. Why why give me a... Why make me feel like I'm going to find something if you don't put anything in them? Alright, this is getting a little bit disturbing now. this one a few times and see. Doesn't seem to be working though. Alright, let's try the multi-tool. Nope. Nope. Alright. I guess these guys just cleared out all their stuff when they left. think there would be something in one of these. Do I have to wait to a different time? Did I get here too early in the game or something? I do not know. Well, we made it back over to our base. We almost died of thirst on the way over here, but we made it. Um, made it back just in time. Got some something to drink, something to eat. We didn't take any water with us on that trip. That was not very bright. Um, next time we go out looking, we're going to have to make sure we take some water with us. It was a fruitless trip. We did not find any carbon anywhere. We found a mine um, or a refinery or something that had a whole lot of empty boxes on it, which I don't understand. I'd, maybe it's supposed to be that way in the game. I don't know. 
Um, I'll have to do some research on YouTube after this and see what I can find out. I'm um, not really certain. Not really certain. We will see. Alright guys, I have noticed something interesting. There obviously has been an update since I was last in the game. Um, in the forge now you have all of these different ingots and you basically take your ore and turn them into ingots in here. Um, and the reason why I found that, I was going in here to see what I needed to make the uh, solar panel kit. And the solar panel kit requires iron ingot, carbon ingot. And before it just said carbon. So that is quite interesting. We're going to have to uh, turn all of our stuff into ingots and that's going to be, hopefully, not enough room to store. Okay. Oh, take all. Alright, so they've changed that as well. Alright, let's sort this and sort this. Let me go ahead and move the aluminum over. We'll close this. Come back over to the forge. And we'll continue to make our aluminum ingots. It looks like it takes two per, no, three per. So it takes three of the aluminum to make one ingot. I wonder why they changed it this way. This seems a little odd, but okay, whatever. I'm not the, I'm not the developer. Um, it, it just seems weird. It seems like a useless um, extra step to have to go through, I guess is my point. And that just makes it difficult when you're trying to get people to use your product and you're you're forcing them to go an extra step to do something that they didn't have to do before. Maybe it has something to do with space and weight concerns, but it just seems a little odd to me to, to make it do that. Um, anyway, I'm going to work my way through the rest of these ores, turning them into ingots, and we'll be back later. All right, we're going to head off over in this direction and see what we can find. Looks like there's some structures off in the distance. And doesn't look like we can kill these things, whatever they are. A lot of aluminum over here, which is quite interesting. It's an interesting uh, rock structure sticking out here as well. I am hearing an animal somewhere behind me. I was hearing something walking around here somewhere. And it wasn't me. I can usually tell my footsteps. gonna head over that way see what we can find aluminum base another base metal Base metals, iron, iron, iron. I don't need iron. I need to find some carbon. You would think you could get carbon right out of the plants, but not in this game. Another iron resource. Ooh, what are these things over here? What are those things? More iron. All right, well, we're going to head down the hill. See what we can find. Some more of those Orsic kitchens or whatever they are. Let's switch to the gun. 
or or sick or sick is or six or six what are these things geysers interesting Oxygen geyser, nitrogen geyser, nitrogen, and nitrogen. pretty cool that was pretty cool okay so we've got some geysers over here but I don't know what to do with them that is a good question what do we do with these geysers and what are those structures off in the distance over here I still don't know more oxygen down there it looks like the blue one So, nitrogen geyser, nitrogen geyser. Another oxygen geyser for that one. Uh oh. What is a snub? What is a snub? Oh, there's another one. Okay. Oh, of course. Now we get a storm coming in. All right, let's kind of go over here into the corner. coming out. Wow. There's another one. Things are just, there's too many of these. I'm gonna have to get out of the, the storm here. I get out of a dead young snub, I wonder. A crab eye and a crab talon and crab leg meat. That seems weird. I don't know what a snub is. Snub is that animal, whatever it was. And there was a bunch of them too. Well, 
attract his attention. Okay, got him. Okay, that seems pointless. All right, we're going to get away from this uh, snub uh, nest over here. Let's see if we can figure out what to do with these geysers. All right, so we'll start by coming over to this one and seeing what we can do with an oxygen geyser. Okay, yeah, it's an oxygen geyser. Now, what can I do with the oxygen geyser? Hmm, I don't know. Let's see if there's something we can build. Is there something we can build to get the oxygen? Primitive workbench. Needs four rocks and four iron ingots. An outdoor crafting table that you can use to make many different tools. Keep hearing those horses just walk around. They keep uh, they keep making me nervous. All right, guys, we have found quite a few interesting things in this episode, so I'm going to call it. Um, Golden Dragon is heading back to the area. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit the like button. If you like my content, maybe you're new to the channel, uh, we would appreciate your subscription. Hit that subscribe button for me. Um, tell your friends, tell your neighbors, have them come by and subscribe. We're trying to reach 100 subscribers so that we can get a vanity URL here on YouTube and make it a lot easier for folks to find us. Um, if you'd like to help us out, we always are willing to take donations. So if you'd like to throw something over at our Patreon page, we would appreciate it. We have uh, two patrons right now, and we really do appreciate their help. Thank you so much. But for now, so long and fly safe.